Assalamu alaikum how are you all i hope all of you are well i am rizwana mukhtar lecturer department of physics malestun college i welcome all of you in the another virtual practical class of physics in our today's practical class i will describe a new equipment which is screw gauge and, and with the help of screw gauge i will determine the diameter and cross sectional area of a wire so let us start our today's class students name of our today's experiment is determine the area of cross section of a circular wire here you can see that there's a wire in my hand and i am going to measure the cross section of this circular wire but before that we need to measure the diameter of that wire so that we can easily measure the cross sectional area of this wire so how could we measure the diameter of that wire to measure the diameter of wire we need a instrument and name of that instrument is screw gauge you can see there's a instrument in my hand and name of this instrument is screw gauge with the help of this instrument i am going to measure the diameter of that circular wire and after that we can easily identify the cross sectional area of that circular wire see it's a u shaped screw gauge and here's a cap this is this portion of the screw gauge is known as cap when i move the cap then the two ends of the screw gauge will be visible and in the in between these two ends i will put the wire so can i easily measure the diameter of that wire okay and in a screw gauge there's two scale one is circular scale another one is linear scale circular scale means the scale which is mars over this hollow shaped cylinder and the linear scale is when i move that circular scale then you can see there's a scale will visible and this scale is known as the linear scale now, now i am going to show this instrument closely so it will be easier for you to understand the circular scale and linear scale students you can see a screw gauge here a mars over there that is 0 to 25 mm this number indicates that with the help of this screw gauge we can measure up to 25 mm accurately now you can see i hold a part of this screw gauge this is known as the cap of this screw gauge and with the help of this cap i can rotate the scale okay you can see that when i you can see that when i rotate the cap the scale is also start to rotate and the scale which is rotating with the rotation of this cap this scale is known as the circular scale you can see that the shape of that scale is circular so we say that it's a circular scale and the number of the division of circular scale of this instrument is you can see 45 to 0 that means the number of division of circular scale of this screw gauge is 50 and each division is equal to 1 because 45 0 to 5 there's five divisions here that means the value of each division is 1 and when when we start to rotate the circular scale with the help of this cap you can see that another scale is visible now and this scale is known as the linear scale okay and linear scale is marks on millimeter that means every division of 
number of uh, that means the value of every division of linear scale is 1 millimeter okay now another thing which we need to measure through the screw gauge is pitch the board clearly then you can see there's a table with the help of this table we can measure the diameter of that wire and in the table you can see that we need to know the linear scale reading circular scale division and least count least count to measure the diameter of a wire so before observing the linear scale and circular scale reading we need to calculate the least count of the instrument and least count of every instrument is fixed and least count means least count is equal to pitch by number of division of circular scale So firstly we need to know what is pitch then we can easily identify the least count. Pitch means when we rotate this circular scale one time then the length that is covered by the circular scale or the length of this linear scale will be visible is known as the pitch. So you can see that I am going to show you how to measure pitch of a screw gauge actually pitch means when you rotate the circular scale once when you rotate the circular scale once then the length which is visible of a linear scale is called pitch now you can see when I rotate the circular scale once then you can't see any divisions of linear scale but if I rotate it one more time then you can see you can see that one division of linear scale is visible and you know that one division of linear scale means one millimeter but I told you that when we rotate the circular scale once then the length of the linear scale that will be visible is known as the pitch so we can see that so we can say that the pitch of this instrument is 0 0.5 because when i rotate the circular scale two times then you can see one millimeter and pitch means the rotation when circular scale rotates in one time then the division of linear scale will visible is known as pitch so pitch of this instrument is 0 0.5 and number of division of circular scale is 50 I'm going to put the value of pitch that is 0 0.5 millimeter and number of division of circular scale is 50 0 0.5 is equal to 0 0.01 millimeter that means the value of list count of this instrument is 0 0.01 millimeter it's time to take the readings of linear scale reading and circular scale reading but before that I'm going to put the wire between the two ends of this screw gauge here you can see I am putting the wire between the two end of this screw gauge you can see that I placed 
this wire in this screw gauge and it's time to measure the and it's time to take the readings now you can see that 1 2 3 3 division of linear scale is visible that means the linear scale reading is 3 1 2 3 and circular scale reading now you can see that Thirty six thirty eight. Thirty eight division of circular scale is coincide with the linear scale. So the value of circular scale reading is thirty eight. Observation number one linear scale reading is three. And circular scale division is 38. So now I can easily measure the diameter with the help of this equation. To determine the diameter with the help of a screw gauge is D equals to L plus C into L C. Now we know all the informations. Value of linear scale reading or L is 3 plus value of C is 38 multiply LC list count that is 0 0.01 and after calculating it you will get the value 3.38 millimeter so our first reading is 3.38 i'm going to repeat it twice so that we can get a accurate measurement so once again i am putting the wire between the two ends of that screw gauge and i will measure the linear scale reading and circular scale reading once again you can see that now the linear scale reading is remains same that is 3 but this time the reading of circular scale is changed. You can see that the number of 45, 45 number division of circular scale is coincide with the linear scale. So the value of C here is 45 and the value of L linear scale reading is 3. In our second experiment or second observation in our second observation we get the value of linear scale 3 but this time circular scale reading is 45 i'm going to put that information here that is l 3 plus 45 into 0 0.01 now now after calculating it you will get the answer is 3.45 millimeter 3.45 going to take one more reading that is observation number 3 this time you can see that the linear scale reading is remains same that is 3 but now the circular scale reading is changed one again and now the circular reading this time is 33. Now I am going to put the informations on the table. Main scale reading 3 and circular scale reading 33. Third observation main scale re reading 3 and circular scale reading 33. That is 3 plus 33 into 0 0.01 and after calculating it you will get the value 3.33 that is 3.33. Now I am going to measure the average value of the diameter. So average
average means 3.38 plus 3.45 plus 3.33 divided by 3. After calculating it, you will get the information is 3.386 or we can write that 3.39 millimeter. So this is the value of D or the diameter. Point three nine. Now it's time to measure the area of cross section. And you know that formula to measure area is area A equals to pi R square. Here R means radius of the wire, but we determine the diameter. And you know that Radius means half of diameter that is R equals to D by 2. So we can write that 1 by 4 pi D square and with the help of this equation we can easily measure the area of cross section of a wire that is 1 by 4 into 3.14 into D. D means 3.39 whole square. After calculating it, you will get the value of the area is 9.02 millimeter square. And if you want to convert it into meter square, then just multiply it with 10 inverse 6. So, the cross-sectional area of the wire is 9.02 into 10 inverse 6 meter square. I hope you all understand the experiment clearly. Thank you for being with me.